And even as case numbers rise, the state, of course, is starting to slowly reopen. A lot of malls open back up this weekend with limited retailers and new social distancing rules in place. Team 12's Erica Stapleton caught up with shoppers to see what the experience is like now and if the bump for businesses will help in the long run. The phrase is supposed to be shop till you drop. A lot of people wearing masks, everything six feet apart. The stores that are open, there are insane lines to get in. But when it's the shops that start dropping. There was a couple places we wanted to go to that are still closed. And anchor stores are sinking. Considering the Nordstrom at Chandler Mall just closed. In the wake of COVID-19, can malls as a whole really stay afloat? A study last year from Yale shows that shopping malls have been on the decline for more than a decade at the hands of online shopping. In 2018, the report says almost 7,000 retailers had to shut their doors for good, leaving space in the malls that just aren't being filled. And now with COVID-19 taking its toll on business, Hitendra Chaturvedi, professor of supply chain management at ASU, says the future is fragile for shopping malls as we know them. Malls may become a place for flea markets and uh, used products. Many of these locations might turn into warehouses for delivery to your house faster than the competition. But shoppers at Scottsdale Fashion Square out for the first time since the stay-at-home order expired. We went to uh, Journeys and got some new kicks. Hope the brick-and-mortar stores don't go out of style. During the summer, we hit all the museums in this place because it's hot. Plus, amid the pandemic, there's a renewed novelty to getting out of the house. It's just good to get out. You know, haven't been being... shopping in forever, it seems. In Scottsdale. I think we appreciate it more now. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.